Hi, I'm Mark Ryan. In this video, I'll take you through an example of using the FastAI Deep Learning Framework to train a model on tabular data. The example in this video is also featured in my upcoming book from Pact Publishing, Deep Learning with FastAI Cookbook. FastAI supports four kinds of deep learning applications. Models trained with tabular data, that is, data arranged in rows and columns, such as CSV files or relational database tables. Models trained with text data, including language models that predict the next word given a piece of text, or text classification models that predict the category to which piece of text belongs. Recommender systems, also known as collaborative filtering systems, that predict how a user will rate an object, such as a movie or a book, given a set of ratings that other users have given to that object. Models trained with image data, including image classification models that predict what objects are depicted in an image, and image localization models that predict the location of objects in an image. In this video, I'll be examining an example of one of these applications, deep learning models trained with tabular data. FastAI is unique amongst deep learning frameworks for treating models trained on tabular data as first-class citizens and providing a full suite of capabilities to prepare tabular data sets and train deep learning models with them. In the tabular data set model that we'll review in this video, you'll see how these fast AI capabilities make it easy to train a deep learning model with tabular datasets. Now let's take a look at a notebook that prepares a tabular dataset and then trains a deep learning model using fast AI's facilities. So in this notebook, there are a number of cells that prepare the environment. So there are imports of fast AI libraries that are needed. There is a setup of the notebook for fast AI, definition of a path variable. So the first time that you run this, it will actually um, go to a URL defined by fast AI and set up the data set, copy it into your environment. Then after that, it goes to the uh, directory that is pointed to by this path object. The adult sample data set is a set data set that has a row for each individual and the rows for individuals have the person's years in education, what education they attained, what their job category is and other information about them and an indication of whether or not they earn above or below 50k. And the idea of the model that's trained with this data set is to, given a new individual making a prediction on whether they earn above or below 50k. So here's one of the facilities that's provided by FastAI. And this looks fairly simple. It's just the uh, ls command for uh, the path object. And as you can see down here, it shows the, uh, the directory structure of the data set, which is very handy, particularly with more complex data sets. So the next step is to use a standard pandas command to create a data frame from the CSV file that's in the path for this data set. So that's all that command does. And then a standard pandas command to see the first few rows of the data set. And as you can see here, there's information, the individual's age, whether they're working for a public or private organization, their education level, their marital status, occupation, and a number of other categories. We'll use some standard Python facilities to get the shape of the data set. So here we see there are about 32 and a half thousand records in the data set. And also to get an idea of the number of unique values in each of the columns in the data set. As well as the number of empty values in each of the columns in the data set. Now we're going to get to some of the unique features that are in a fast AI to help with uh, tabular data sets. We're going to find a set of processes. So this is going to sort of make up the pipeline for preparing the data set. 
we're going to specify that we want missing values filled and we want to apply categorify and this this helps by uh, providing numeric identifiers to replace the categorical values we define the dependent variable that is the column that we're trying to predict and we want to have definitions of which of which columns of the data set are continuous and categorical. And the interesting thing here is that we get this automatically. That is, FastAI will automatically identify which of the columns are continuous and categorical. Here we define a data loader's object. This is a standard object defined for FastAI. And this essentially says what the data is going to look like. And it has a number of parameters. It has DF, so this is the data frame that we defined for the data set. The path object that we defined. These procedures, so these are fill missing and categorify. And here we have the categorical column names, which we defined uh, in the previous cell, as well as the continuous column names. The column that we are trying to predict, which is dependent variable and the batch size. FastAI provides a set of common APIs that can be used across different kinds of applications and provide the appropriate sort of behavior depending on the application. So here, the show batch function provides a, uh, a, a listing of elements from, from a batch. If this were an image data set, we would see a set of images. So this is really extremely handy, particularly for beginners, because you can get a look and see what does the data look like going into the model and use the same, uh, the same function call regardless of what kind of data set you're working with. Very handy and very useful, particularly for beginners. And now we're getting to the meat of the model. Here we define the model. So you can imagine what this would look like in Keras. We'd have a set of uh, layers we need to define either in the sequential or the functional API. And here in FastAI, it's a single line. So we are specifying the data loaders object that we defined in the previous cell, the number of layers we want, and the metric that we're optimizing for. In this case, it's accuracy. And that's it. Then we have the uh, fit one cycle. So this is the training statement and we get three epics. We get standard output here that shows the loss and accuracy for each of the epics. And then we can see the results and the results here include the uh, uh, what the uh, Y value was in the training data as well as the prediction. And this is really handy. It's really convenient to be able to see very clearly side by side how the model fared in terms of predicting values from the training data. The summary function gives us a way of seeing in detail what, uh, what the layers are that were actually generated by FastAI for the model. So here we can see there are a number of embedding layers that were, that were generated as well as um, a dropout batch norm, linear, and ReLU. And then you get a summary of the number of parameters, trainable and non-trainable, as well as the callbacks that are automatically created by FastAI. So what you've seen here is a really quick summary of some of the features that FastAI provides, particularly for tabular data sets. A couple things to remember here. All of these features are made available to make it easy for somebody who's a beginner to get started with creating deep learning models using tabular data sets. And the functions and APIs that are provided are common between the different kinds of data sets. So if somebody learns how to create a fast AI deep learning model with tabular data, it's easy to apply the same approach to a model that's trained on image data or on text data. Now there are differences, but the, uh, the, the ingestion of the data, looking at the structure of the data set looking at samples from the data, seeing what the matches look like, and then seeing how the predictions work. These are all common amongst the different data sets. And that makes it really easy, both to get started with one particular kind of data set, and then also to take what you've learned with one data set and apply it to different kinds of data sets. 
And that is an example of how you can take advantage of the facilities in Fast AI to train a deep learning model on a tabular dataset. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.